This here is the last question of the practice test. It's the chapter 12 question. It's the ANOVA, right? We can see the ANOVA summary table here. There is going to be, you know, to earn full marks on this question, you need to fill in an, an empty ANOVA summary table. I give you a template right here to help you understand. And this helps organize your information. It also shows you what values need to be calculated and which ones don't. Okay. Full four-step hypothesis testing procedures. Step one, hypotheses. We need our null, we need our alternate. The null needs to map onto however many groups we have. So we have three groups, so we need mu1 equals mu2 equals mu3. If we had more, we would keep going. The alternate hypothesis, this is the only time that you don't have a mathematical version of it. It's at least one group mean is different. Step two. We need to calculate our critical values. We have that it's an alpha of 0.05. That's part of what we need. We need our degrees of freedom between, and we need our degrees of freedom within. Degrees of freedom between is k subtract one, where k is the number of groups. One, two, three groups. It's two. I strongly recommend that you fill in your ANOVA summary table as you go helps organize your thoughts, helps you understand what you've calculated, what still needs to be done. And there's a lot of calculations. Your work may be a little bit of a hot mess. Organizing it from the start is a good thing. Degrees of freedom within is N, big N, not the little Ns, the big N, minus K. 15 minus 3, which is 12. We'll come back and fill in the rest later. So we need our F critical. So we go to table B4. Okay. The F distribution. Table entries in light face type are critical values for the alpha of 0.05 level of significance. So if you look, um, and this might be clearer on a digital copy or on the copy that you hopefully have right in front of you, each cell of the table has two numbers. The top number is in regular font and the bottom number is slightly darker, it's bold. So the one that's not as dark is for 0.05, and the one that is darker is for 0.01. Our question asked for alpha of 0.05. Eventually, the F statistic formula is that you have your mean square between divided by mean square within. Hmm? To calculate your mean square between, you use degrees of freedom between. To calculate your mean square within, you use degrees of freedom within. The top part's the numerator, the bottom part's the denominator. So when it says degrees of freedom numerator, that is degrees of freedom between. When it says over here, degrees of freedom denominator, that is degrees of freedom within. You are welcome to write on your, on your, your table what these values are, right? It's an open notes test offload some of the cognitive effort of figuring out what the table is telling you and how to use it. Degrees of freedom between was two, degrees of freedom within was 12. So our critical value is 3.88. Okay, oh, sorry, came off. 12 and two, critical value is 3.88. The F statistic is only ever positive because we have sum of squares, that's always positive. Divided by degrees of freedom, 
that's always positive. So our mean squares are always positive. These are a version of, of um, variance called something slightly different, but they're a version of variance. And so if your mean squares are both positive, then your F statistic is always going to be positive, okay? So our F critical is 3.88. Those are our degrees of freedom. If the value we calculate is larger than 3.88, then we are going to reject the null and accept the alternate. So now I'm going to calculate the remainder of that, that ANOVA summary table. I'm going to calculate my degrees of freedom total. I have two ways of doing that. I can either do N minus one, or I can add degrees of freedom between plus degrees of freedom within. I'll do this version. So big N was 15, 15 minus one, that's 14. And I'm going to do like I'm telling you to do, and I'm going to come back to my ANOVA summary table, and I'm going to put that right in, right? So 2 plus 12 is 14. Alternatively, 15 subtract 1 is 14. The next piece, and I like to look at these as a bit of a, a logic puzzle, we can't get to the mean squares, right? We don't have enough yet. We need to calculate our sum of squares. Sum of squares within is the sum of the sum of squares. You can tell it's getting a bit later in the day. My writing is getting remarkably sloppier. This is sum of squares one plus sum of squares two plus sum of squares three, however many groups we have. Sum of squares one was 54. Sum of squares two was 58. Sum of squares three was 56. So 54 plus 58 plus 56 is 168. I tend to like to calculate all my sum of squares first. So I'm gonna do sum of squares total. I could do sum of squares between from the numbers that I was given. It's faster to do sum of squares total given the numbers that I have. It's the sum of x squared subtract g squared divided by big N. x squared was 5,238. G is the grand total. It is the sum of all of the groups together. So the T values, look right here, these T values, that's the sum of X1. This is the sum of X2. This is the sum of X3. This is essentially T1 plus T2 plus T3. So it's all of the groups, all of the numbers combined. And it's already given to you. 270 squared divided by 15. This is a sum of squares, just like any other sum of squares, it's gonna have to be positive. If you get a non, if you get a negative number, you know you've done something wrong. That's a signal to you. So 270 squared is 72,900 divided by 15. Which is 4,860. So 5,238 subtract 4,860 is 378. So now I can use these two sum of squares to figure out my between subjects, sum of squares. I take the sum of squares total, subtract sum of squares within, 
and I will get my sum of squares between. So I can take 378, subtract 168, and that's 210. Now, if I'm not sure what to do next, I know I want to get here. I know I want to calculate the F. I can't get there yet because I don't have my mean squares. So that's the next step that I need to do. I need to calculate my mean square within and my mean square between. I'm going to do it up here in the interest of trying to save some space. Mean square within is sum of squares within divided by degrees of freedom within. Because remember, that mean square is a form of variance, and variances are sum of squares divided by degrees of freedom. So I have 168 divided by 12. Which is 14. mean square between is sum of squares between divided by degrees of freedom between. Sum of squares between was 210. My degrees of freedom between was 2. So that is 105. Now I have my F statistic, which is mean square between divided by mean square within. Mean square between was 105. Mean square within was 14. I get 7.5. Okay. So I compare 7.5 to my critical value. And for consistency, I'll do it in red. Okay. So step four. 7.5 is larger than 3.88. It's more extreme. If we drew this out, which I didn't, probably should have, our critical value was, let's say, here. Right? And these are our axes, so zero's over here. The value I just calculated, the 7.5, is out here. Anything here is going to be in my critical region. I'm going to reject the null and accept the alternate. Anything that's over here, I would fail to reject the null. Okay, so I reject the null, accept the alternate. I don't know which group is different. I just know that at least one of the groups is different from the others. They might all be different. I don't know without post-hoc tests. And this question does not ask me to calculate those. Right? So don't go do an extra stuff that you don't need to do. That's the last question. So if you're going to go overboard, at least you'd theoretically be done the rest of the exam. B, compute at a squared. And is it small, medium, or large? The formula for at a squared is sum of squares between divided by sum of squares total. We already have those values. Sum of squares between was 210, and sum of squares total was 378. So I have 210 divided by 378. 0.56, this is a large effect size, okay? And there it is. That's the last question of this exam. So I'll post those probably soon. Well, you, you won't know until you see it. So I'll post them and let me know if you have any questions.